Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. Beautiful, beautiful day upon us today, folks. And today, I'm going to do something exciting. I'm fishing for carp. Yes, carp fishing. Super exciting, folks. Okay, so I am going to run the pre-tied T-turn bait rig. This is the number 5B. It's already pre-tied. All I do is snap on a sinker, and we're good to go. Comes with a size 2 octopus hook right here. And what I'm going to do today, folks, I'm going to run corn. And I stuffed one of the Thundermist bait pockets, the catch a, catch a carp bait pocket. I stuffed it full of corn. And now I'm just going to poke it through the hook. I'm going to leave the hook exposed, as you can see there. I'm just going to hook it on there so I got lots of hook gap for hook setting. Um, I don't want to cover that gap. I want to leave it open so that I can set the hook, hopefully, on a nice size carp. So, I did bring a couple of rods with me today, so let me get this first one in. Okay, so that one is in and ready to go. Uh, we are allowed to use multiple rods for carp as long as we use a plant-based uh, plant bait. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this right here. I'm going to loosen my drag because if I happen to get a bite while I'm setting up my second rod, I don't want to lose my fishing rod because they'll pull the fishing rod right in. So just loosen up the drag a bit. A little bit more. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to set up my second fishing rod. Uh, I brought two different size bait pockets. I opened up with the size one and maybe I'll put a size two on that. It's a little bit bigger. Or maybe I'll just run straight corn. We'll see how it goes. But uh, right now I got my first line in. Second line going. Stay tuned, folks. We're hoping for some nice carp action. Oh, there he goes. Okay. We just, so same day, different spot, folks. Oh, all I was getting at that other spot was weeds. And here's the thing when you're fishing for carp, 15 minutes, check your line. You should always check your line because if your line is sitting in a pile of weeds, you're never going to get a bite or it could be sitting in some obstruction. So 15 minutes, check your line. Every 15 minutes, check your line. This time I didn't need to check it because he bit. So <laughs> doesn't feel huge though, but I gotta be careful. You don't wanna muscle these fish, right? You gotta take your time. Oh, it's, it's a nice carp. Decent sized carp, folks, right there. Oh yeah, he's still, he's still a bit green, so. Oh, that's a nice carp. Oh yeah. That's a nice size carp, folks, right there. So I'm running 20 pounds. I've got 20 pound Thunder Braid on. And then, of course, the T-Turn Bait Rig. And the rods I'm using today are longer. I've got a seven and a half, and I also have an eight foot rod. And the longer fishing rods are definitely better for carp fishing. Okay, you don't need a longer fishing rod. I've caught many carp on just my six foot fishing rod. But the longer the rod takes up more of the pressure and the weight from the fish and it'll help you land the fish for sure. It definitely takes pressure off your line. Okay, I gotta see now. My situation here is not as comfortable. Boatless angling, folks. Hey, you gotta take your spots where you can find them. And I'm a little bit challenged here with the rocks, but I think I'll be able to land them. Oh, that's a, that's a long carp. He's long and thin. Oh yeah. It's a nice size carp. Hey, okay. here we go. Oh, he does not like the net, but it's, <laughs> but he's in the net. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's still full of energy. Full of energy, folks. Full of energy. Oh yeah. Okay, is he done? Okay, uh, all right, let's let him tuck our bolt just a little longer. Okay, you good? Okay, all right. There we go, folks. That's a nice size carp right there. Oh yeah, that's a really, really nice carp. And he looks like he's got a little mark on him there. Who knows from what? He's got marks on the back of his tail. He's got marks up top here, so. Maybe from spawning, I don't know. But he's a nice carp nonetheless. So let's get him off the hook. 
snap a quick photo for Facebook and Instagram, we're going to get them right back in the water again. Oh. <laughs> That's a really nice carp right there, folks. Just a beauty. Gave me a nice bite, nice little fight. You got to love that right there, folks. Carp fishing. Carp fishing at its best. The T-turn bait rig did its job. The bait did its job. My fishing rod worked great. The drag was set good. Let's get him back in. Okay. And away he goes. Nice release. It's one thing about this spot. There's a nice, nice deep water here, so it's great for releasing. Okay, so you know what that means, folks. Line's got to go back in the water because that was a good start and a great move that we made changing from the other spot. It's already paid off. So there we go. The lines are back in the water. I've got myself a nice comfortable spot to sit on here. This rock, it's actually perfect for the boatless angler. Okay, lines are back in. Hoping for another bite. So I guess you could say I'm sitting down on the job, folks. I got just another nice pickup. I had to get my other line out of the water quick. Otherwise, you'll have a tangled mess. That's the only problem running multiple lines. But the one advantage I do like about running multiple lines, you could have one rod, let's say, a little bit closer and then another line out a little bit further. Now, the advantage that gives you, of course, you're covering more ground, but also... Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. He swam right to shore. Also, if the water is really clear, chances are the carp won't be as close to shore. But if you've got murky water, folks, brown water, there's a good chance the carp could be just, you know, 15 feet from shore. So it's nice to cast one line in close and then another one out further. This guy's still green, so I don't want to bring him in too quick like that last one. If I can, he's still very, very strong and powerful. And this is the thing, when they get close like this, there's a lot of pressure on your line. And this is where the longer fishing rod comes in handy. Takes up some of that pressure because these are, these are big, strong, powerful fish, folks. If you've never caught them, they're big, strong, powerful fish. And I know this guy is nowhere near being done yet. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this carp fishing, folks, I gotta love it. Opportunity to catch big, powerful fish. He's just realizing now that he's hooked. <sighs> now, because the T-turn bait rig comes pre-tied with fluorocarbon line, I, was, I, I just tied the rig on direct to my braid. Uh-oh got some obstructions over there I gotta keep them away oh no I might have to try to get him back here a bit I got some poles in the water back there there you go he's out here and he's in the clear now that's the thing about boatless angling you can't you got whatever obstructions around you got to work around them it's more challenging than fishing from a boat check my drag oh yeah nice big swirl Oh, that's a nice carp, folks. Oh, yeah. That's a nice size carp. Still very green, though, like I said. And carp like corn. Now, here's the thing. When you're fishing with the bait pockets, you could stuff them with whatever you want. In fact, I'm using whole kernel corn. Here's what I'm using, folks. Right there. Right from the grocery store. Okay? Nothing special. Get yourself a can of corn. You know, it's not often I go fishing with a can opener, but they like the corn. So I st you can stuff your pockets with corn. You can chop up the corn if you want and stuff it in there. You can stuff them with dough. You can stuff them with oats, rice, whatever you want. Or, of course, with the corn, you could also just fish corn bare on a bare hook. Okay, I think he's tiring now. Gave me a few runs. Not quite yet. This is where you lose a lot of carp. Oh, he's got the... Big scales on this carp, look at that. Look at this carp, folks. If we can get him landed. That's a mirror carp. That's what's called a mirror carp. So a little bit. Loud motorcycles. A little bit different than the other carp. The other carp was a common carp, this is a mirror carp. 
Look at that beautiful, isn't, aren't they nice? Look at that fish. Beautiful. Just hooked in the side of the mouth. This one came on straight corn. That is a beautiful, beautiful carp. Look at the scale patterns. I gotta show you this fish. I gotta show you this fish, folks. Look at that, nice little hook set, just in the side of the mouth. There we go. Take a look at this carp. Isn't that nice? Look at the scales on them, the pattern. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful carp right there, folks. Beautiful carp. Isn't that neat, folks? Different kinds of carp. This one is a little smaller than the last one, but he fought stronger and harder. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's get him back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> he actually saw the water and just went whoosh, right, right back in. You gotta love that, it's a great release. Well, you know what I need to do, folks? I need to bait back up and get back out there then because this carp fishing is nothing short of fantastic. It's a lot of fun. And if you've never tried it, you gotta give it a try. It really is a lot of fun. You'll love it. You got the opportunity to catch big, strong fish. Wherever you're tuning in from today, folks, give carp fishing a try. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. This is Ryan. Okay, get my line back in.